presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? How much, Tom? How you doing? I'm great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Hey, congratulations on Grandbaby. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> he just said, Tommy just sent me a picture. I mean, it's gorgeous out right now. He just was taking him out for his first walk this morning. All He's right. growling and prowling already. Yeah, I bet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Let's say make it a great month. You're going to love it. June 1st, here we go. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. This is a great card, man. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes and no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 102, NASDAQ's off 28, S&P's off 15 and a half, gold contract up $3.50, traded at 1851 an ounce. Get silver up 24 cents, 21 dollars 93 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 63 cents, 115 dollars 30 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, they continue to move lower in price, higher in yield, folks. You get the 10 deal right now. Trading down 27.6 at 118.19. The third year off almost a full point at 138.16. 10 years yielding 2.935. The high thus far has been 3.126. King dollar. King dollar's got a bounce going out here today. Up 750 ticks. Trading 102.504. Euro 106. Yen 130.14. And the British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. iPhone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want we'll to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You got another sideways market out here, folks. You got window dressing happening. Uh, bottom line is, you know, we'll see where this wants to go. My take is that we're building cars for lower price. Now, let me show you. We had rebalancing yesterday, folks. And what you'll see out here is that you did get an acceleration of volume. See that 2.3 billion inside the NYSE? Uh, bottom line, then we go over and we take a look at the uh, NASDAQ composite, and the composite gets six billion. Okay, so now let's go back to the Dow Industrials for a second, just take a look at this, because this always gets a little bit tricky when you actually get that much volume. And so, <laughs> this is a tough one, man, because the bottom line is that what we actually did, you know, we actually went higher than the day before, and we had higher volume. So, that had to be tested. Now, the sad part is that it got tested out here today. It would have been better if the thing could have just blow, blow forward. My point goes like this. When we talk about bullish or bearish, that was actually a bullish occurrence. You know, so we'll see where this shakes out. My take is that we're building cars, you know, to basically, you know, lower price. Uh, but that was a bullish occurrence. What I've found is this. It doesn't matter. Well, hey, let's go to the, that's the composite too. So if we take a look at the composite, you're going to see the composite also got to higher price, okay? So we had volume. And I've found that even in rebalancing, that if you can get higher volume, then you have a shot to do something. Now, the problem today is, is that it's getting higher and it's going to close lower. So that bottom line is saying it's a building cause once again. And I'm bringing this all the way back to any of you folks that were around in whether it's 1999, 2000, uh, when these companies one by one start going south, meaning WorldCom and JDSU and all these other companies, you could really find out a lot about rebalancing and where the volume went. And in those particular cases, the, the volume came out and those rebalancing days, they were down. So it's like, okay, man, here you go. You're going to go lower. Gold. Gold contract out here today with gold did. That gold rejected lower price out here. We got down to 1830. You're trading 1851 
and we'll see whether gold can do a small ABC structure up. You know, right now, uh, the last swing point is 1875. You know, we hit 1830. This wouldn't be a bad one. This would be, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's almost uh, 85 bucks, which would get you somewhere up to about the 1910. Yeah, that would make sense, because next swing point is 1917. And that would be the place. So, so what happened with gold, folks, if you're in that market, is that the real resistance is going to be trying to get back in the higher zone. Getting it back in the higher zone in gold is that price point of 1920. Now, let's go to platinum. Platinum bottom line has a bid underneath it. And it's like, I was trying to find it like, okay, man, they're buying it. That's the bottom line. You take a look at platinum out here. You got some, this is wide price spread, accelerated volume. This is say, you know, platinum is at 966 right now. You just took out the swings. The swings were at 993. Um, good setup, man. This is saying the platinum is going to start making its way back up to the 1190 area. King dollar. Now, this is a little problem child once again. You got good old king dollar. That's up 751 ticks today. Now, that is a nice move. Um, you know, we'll see whether it's going to be a counter trend move. But right now, it's a decent move. This king dollar could get up somewhere about 103, 226. Now, let me just bring this back. I got to bring this back on a much further basis. So if we put this on a monthly. Okay, so the number to keep your eye on actually is. I see. Okay. 103, 103, 820 is the number because that was the breakout area. That's where it failed. So key, that's going to be the number. 103, 820. We're going to take a look at the note and bond market. We pull up the note, the 10 year note first. What you're going to see with the 10 year note, you're down 27 ticks. This has volume behind the move. You got 1.5 million contracts. This very well could be a very large ABC structure on the way down, folks. That's how this thing is shaking out right now. Uh, your B point on this is going to be the low that was generated out here at 116.21. And, you know, keep in mind, Tommy was talking about this this morning. June 1st, we are at the basis of where the Fed is going to basically roll off the bonds as well as mortgage-backed securities. Now, the roll-off, what the roll-off specifically means is that they're just not going to replace what the roll-off is. And, you know, the news out here, it's not like an everyday event. Um... It starts today, but yet the first roll-off doesn't take place till June 15th. And what that roll-off means is that those bonds expire June 15th, and they won't use that additional $15 billion in order to buy more bonds. So what that does specifically is do, do what? There's going to be less demand, and there's going to be a supply. Not necessarily more supply, because what it has happened is this. Now, this is going to be the wild card in this, is that the amount of deficit that we are actually in has been going down because the stock market has gone so far up and asset prices have gone so far up that there was a huge amount of money going into the treasury. So this is going to get really intriguing, you know, how, as to what the supply actually is versus the demand. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow Industrials that are down 49, NASDAQ's up 2, S&P's down 7. Come right back. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now trading down 63. You get the NASDAQ flat. S&P's off 10. Let's go to our man Peter in Park City. Peter, what's going on, brother? Oh, not much, Tommy. Hey, I wanted you to go back and take another look uh, today at Apple. Uh, I know we were talking supply chain. A couple of questions for you. I'm curious what their revenues are uh, from China, um, their sale, you know, what kind of sales they do in China. And then is there any way to look at uh, how much of the iPhone, et cetera, is actually still manufactured in uh, China versus, say, Vietnam or India? So if we look at it, I, I, you know, I just put up uh, Apple and you can see China is 68 billion out of 394 billion, you know, projected, mm -hmm. right? 20 percent. Yeah. Okay. Um, so then let's see. So the aspect, I don't think there's a way to do the, um, SPLS. Let me just see this. I don't think there's an AAPL equity SPLS gives me the supply chain. Hold it one second. S -P oh, SPLC. One second. AAPL equity SPLC. I think it is. No, SPLC. Yeah, there it is. So it really doesn't, I'd have to dig into this more, but it doesn't give me that type of breakdown, meaning, um, you know, I think that quick, meaning that how much have they moved to Vietnam? Do you know what I'm saying? I think yeah, one of the big... It, no, I just, that, that was just my curiosity because I can't imagine that with this much of, you know, their revenues generated from China, that that's going to meet expectations for this quarter. I can't imagine that, let's say they produce, Foxconn does still produce in um, China a certain percentage right. that they can't get, they can't get with the port of Shanghai closed, they can't, let's say, get Taiwan semis, you know, ships or whatever in to make them or vice versa, things that are made in China, they can't ship them to say India or, you know, so let's say India to manufacture it, I don't see how they can possibly make uh, the numbers that are being yeah, estimated. And if, if they miss, then we know the market will just, you know, sell off profusely. But I'm just trying to understand how they could possibly make the, their numbers. So it's a little bit different, um, I would say, in the aspect of Apple, 
meaning, and the reason being is that all their pots are so small. There's no reason that Apple can't, you know, have, you know, uh, 747s. Or there's no such thing anymore, I guess. But if, you know what I'm saying? Big cargo yeah. planes, like, you know, one cargo plane full will probably make, you know, but who knows how many yeah. phones. I mean, they're telling us that, you know, this quarter is going to be 82.5 billion. Now, when you look at this, you know, they did 81.4 last year. So that's certainly not growth, man. <laughs> that's for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, no, and also from 97 and 123. Wow. Yeah. So I suspect, you know, that that, that is going to be this this flack everywhere. That so this is an intriguing. I'm not I'm not swapping gears on you here, Peter, but this this is a heads up, folks. Okay, now check this out. Jamie Dimon comes out. Okay, remember, I talked about this last week. Jamie Dimon, when when J.P. Morgan was coming out their numbers. Okay, so so picture this. This is how any basically CEO kind of operates, and they they uh, you just want to see how this is because when they came out with their numbers. Okay, if you remember the quote with Jamie Dimon says, "Yeah, you know, there's a storm out there, but we might miss the storm." Okay. Well, the bottom line is that he's changed his tune in an incredible way, folks, okay? Diamond now is saying his bank is bracing for an economic hurricane, okay? Jamie Diamond <laughs> wanted investors uh, to prepare for an economic hurricane as the economy struggles against unprecedented combination of challenges, including tighter monetary policy, uh, Russian invasion of Ukraine. Th that hurricane is right out here. They are down the road coming our way. The chief executive said at a conference sponsored by Alliance Bernstein today. We don't know if it's a minor one or a super slum Sandy. You better brace yourself. Now, that's a total change uh, in texture in a monster way. And the reason I'm bringing this up, as Peter's bringing up the uh, Apple numbers, you know, I mean, I suspect, you know, bankers... No, before almost anyone, okay? You know, what is the savings rate? How is the cash flow going? Because they have so many millions of accounts. Do you know what I'm saying? And, Absolutely. Yeah, and that says quite a bit, including, you know, guess what? Apple has always been immune, it seems, that, you know, no matter if anyone had any type of money, they want to buy an Apple phone. Well, we almost all have Apple phones, right? <laughs> it's like, okay, you know. Do you need a new one? You know, so we'll see how that shakes out. But my take is that, yeah, these, these numbers are going to slow down a bit, um, you know, and that will make a difference in the, you know, the, the equity. When you, when you take a look at Apple, the thing that's amazing about Apple, I mean, a lot of these equities had a, an amazing run. There's, there's no two ways about that. But when I look at Apple, I mean, you know what I do. I always look at, okay, if you get a retracement going, does it have a high volume? High? You can see Apple has nothing, man. I'm putting this up on a monthly, and it's like, you know, I can make the case that Apple wants to get out of $76. <laughs> Cause right, no, the other, the other thing that I thought was very interesting, I posted in the den earlier, uh, Goldman Sachs is there, they had, I think it was like 209 for earnings for 2021, um, like 229 and 230 something for 22 and 23. So, I mean, they still have all their earnings forecasts going going up. Nobody has actually started to like actually pull back their S and P earnings, you know, going forward, which I would think at some point they'll have to. Yeah, no. And I can see that the one thing that, you know, I heard something this morning folks. Okay. And this, this is keep this in mind. I heard an analyst this morning saying that like the NASDAQ 100, like that's over. Right. And it's like, Oh man, that I'm telling you folks. Okay. Technology, is never over, okay? I heard tech, that was, and the NDX was supposed to be over in 2000. If I learned anything then, is okay. that yes, there's companies that get blown up, but guess what? Technology is always gonna lead. Always, 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 okay? You can kind of just go back to the Haas and buggy and figure out where we are now, do you know what I mean? So that was kind of intriguing, Peter, do you know what I mean? It's like, okay, they're overpriced. I think Apple's overpriced. I think it's gonna go lower, um, you know, but, those are the same equities that once this thing is over are, are going to keep going higher. You know what I mean? Oh, and, and, and those that survive and you know, have yes. a decent balance sheet will thrive. I mean, right. Yeah. Right.
All right, Tommy. Okay, Thanks. man. You have a great one. A safe one. Take your brain on it. <laughs> Thanks, have man. A good one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow right now uh, down to 71. NASDAQ's off 13. S&P's off 11. You get a sideways move out here. That's the bottom line, folks. And uh, guess what? We So window dressing is really over like tomorrow. So I suspect you will go sideways tomorrow or the next day. Next week, hold on for the ride, baby, because it's coming at us. And, and that also sets up the further that we get into June, the further the runoff comes with all these bonds and mortgages and guess what i don't care how smart someone thinks they are this hasn't been done before so i don't think anyone really knows where that stretch is going to come and the stretch is going to have to do with banks or non-banks being over levered in the bond market stay right there we'll come right back if you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Tom O'Brien has just announced a live Timing the Trade webinar Friday, June 10th from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Join Tom O'Brien for five hours of live education as he teaches you his trading methodology right from his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. In this live webinar, Tom O'Brien will be teaching you his entire trading system, including quality volume, ABC structures, Fibonacci confluence zones, cause and effect, swing points, and more. We will be limiting this class to 40 attendees, so please do not delay and reserve your seat today for this special live event with Tom O'Brien. All attendees will also receive a physical copy of his book, The Art of Timing the Trade, an $88 value, mailed to you, along with a free month of his daily newsletter, Market Insights, a $169 value. For all the details and to reserve your seat today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 16. Nasdaq's off 14. S&Ps are off 11. Let's go take a look at Amazon. King, Daw, King Amazon here. Now, this is getting intriguing. First, I would just want to look at... Well, what I want to do is this. This is where this gets interesting, okay? So, Amazon is fuming and should be fuming, okay? So Amazon says being unfairly singled out by proposed antitrust legislation in Congress and warns that the bill, if approved, could force the company to shutter its marketplace for outside sellers. Um, in a blog post Wednesday, Amazon said the bill, co-sponsored by uh, Senator Amy Klobuchar, a Minnesota Democrat, as well as Chuck Grassley, a Republican of Iowa, um, should also apply to other companies with third-party marketplaces, such as Walmart. Amazon also said the requirements of proposed legislation could make it harder to meet its speedy shipment guarantees to prime subscribers. The thing that's wild about this, and, you know, depending on how long you've, you know, been in the market and in, in business in general, you know, they have a huge point, man. <laughs> I mean, 
if, you know, we all remember, many of us remember how many businesses Walmart put out of business in all our communities, okay? I mean, you're talking about a huge amount. I, I, don't, I, I don't quite understand, um, well, I do understand, you know, why they can turn around and, you know, basically just go after the tech companies, but Walmart is the monster in the room. I mean, yeah, well, just, just, just look at that. I mean, who's kidding who? You take a look at Walmart, Okay, revenue-wise, okay, so Walmart's 560, 596 billion, and 596 billion, remember that price, and Amazon, oh, look at that right there, is 525 billion. Look at that, oh, that's interesting, man. Do you remember, I remember this one, and when Wal, I mean, when Amazon was like only about 20% of their gross volume. So Amazon's actually catching up with Walmart. Well, th that's the bottom line. Walmart's still, still bigger by gross volume, and, you know, they should be included in that bill, no doubt. Let's go take a, now let's go take a look at Amazon itself. We take a look at Amazon here. You got... So, yeah, you're off this low of 2025. You're 425 bucks over it. Yeah, and they're slamming right into, yeah. The, so, so picture, folks. Okay, now I'm doing this workshop on June 10th, right? So if you want to understand the art of time in the trade, go check it out. You get my book, you get the newsletter, plus you're going to get a great workshop. Now, there's no doubt that the price and volume, okay, you know, it's basically an art versus a science, okay? Because, you know, a science would be that one and one is two, two and one are three, three and two are five, Fibonacci sequence, okay? That being said, what, when you're looking at this, the, what I, the way I look at a Walmart is I'm always cognizant of what I think's going on in the actual market first, right? So my take here is that we're building cars for lower price. Thus far, the way it's acted the last couple of days, that's what it's saying, okay? And in particular, the reason it's saying that is that it goes down so fast and it can come back again. Down so fast because you think it's going to be the end of the world and it's not. It's even worse than the end of the world because if you're building cars, the market's getting stronger for the next leg. So when I look at Amazon, I say, oh, okay, man, I see this now. Okay, we, this is where it was down with 13 million shares. You're, the top of this level is 26.15. Now, what I expect we're going to actually see is that you'll see Amazon get probably up to that 2615 26, and then close below it and have a huge contraction of volume. And it should because that, that's a monster day because it went downtown. Now, if that's what you, have, you get simultaneously um, and that's lining up like, let's say we have that by Friday and it, it, it fails on Friday, that is then you look at a few more equities, big equities, okay? And if they're not acting correctly also, bottom line, that's where the setup comes in so that your probability goes much higher on your speculation of where you think this market's going. We go inside the Dow Industrials, we take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow, point-wise out here. And we have, uh, oh yeah, the, uh, We'll go back to Salesforce, too. That's quite a move on Salesforce. Salesforce is putting 109 positive points in the Dow, Caterpillar 16, Chevron 15, taken away from it. Goldman 38, Home Depot 26, Walmart 18. No big deal there. Let's go over to Salesforce, CRM. So this equity, as many others out there, you talk about getting smoked. Oh, and thank you, Ryan. That's right. And you know what's amazing? That's right. Uh, Amazon is splitting on Friday also. So we take a look at Salesforce, right? Watch this. This is pretty cool. We bring this back. And what you're going to see is that Salesforce has just gone from a price point of $311. We hit a low last week of $154. Now, 50% haircut, right? The thing that you want to wrap your head around more than anything is that equities love coming back to breakouts. And in this particular case, Salesforce, you know, barreled in right to the highs of the lows that were generated out here in March of 2020. Now, 
it's not out of the woods yet because what we have is this the price point to reject it'll be this month is going to be 178.42 you know we that's because that's the high of it you know last month you came in with 167 that's going into 227 so that's a nice setup but I'd like you to, to get two different things out of this number one is that when you think stocks will just continue to go to the moon go to the moon if you have patience the bottom line you can make your list up and you know turn around and say okay hey man I like this price right here you know and to me this looks like a great price by the way okay you know you're, you'll take heat I mean this thing will go all over the place you know for quite some time you'll take heat but this is also an equity that we have volume at 278 it gave it up at 311 but then you know it, it like 256 it looks pretty good too so those when you when you're trying to pick something out pick something out that has volume at highs or close to highs if you think that this market is flipping you know meaning going from one side to the other you know um, that's pretty hard to do folks when I'm, I'll bring up the Fed funds rate right now um, you know the Fed funds rate you can see it right here it's right now still at basically one percent and they want to bring that up to two and a half percent and when you, when you look at the context of the the market in general um, you know these prices aren't, aren't gonna you, you don't go from inflation running 20 25 percent you know 30 percent um, no, their, their number is like six and a half percent or something. But the bottom line is that that's <laughs> whatever that is, it's not real. Um, you don't go from a big a number to a number that's dramatically lower. It just that's just not how it goes. There's we have a very large, you know, complicated um, economy, not complicated in a good way, not in a bad way. Uh, it's just that you just you just it just doesn't go away. Let's put it that way. Dow, Dow Industrials right now, down 40, Nasdaq's off 27, S&P's off 11. You get a sideways market, man. You get a sideways market with um, wide price spread. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We're going to talk about our man Frank from Gloucester. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 11. You get the NASDAQ off six. S&Ps are off six. Let's go to our man Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on? Hey, Tommy, you having a good time? I, how's, that grand, how's that grandbaby of yours? Oh, he's so cool. He's getting so big, folks, okay? He was over the weekend. Uh, we had a blast, needless to say. Um, yeah. And he's growling and prowling. Oh, it's pretty I, cool. I have, a, I have a six-year-old granddaughter up here, and over the weekend, she jumped on a two-wheel bike and rode away from her father. <laughs> <laughs> that is a big day, man. Yeah, I, yeah sure. that is a great day. <laughs> and listen, I, I, you know, I just saw Danielle a little while ago, and she loved the restaurant you had, you sent her to. Oh, isn't that cool? I wish she would have called me when she was up here. Son of a gun! Yeah, okay. I forgot Good. she was going up there too, man. She had a blast though. She loved Gloucester, man. So it's so cool. She was, she was in heaven, man. Pretty wild, yeah. Oh, that's and, nice. That's nice. Then she did the whole historic t tour in Boston and all that. You know what I mean? So pretty yeah. cool, yeah. So, let's take a look. ATI, right? Yeah, I must be crazy looking at a steel stock, but technically it looks terrific, especially on a monthly, but it doesn't have any earnings. Okay, so let's take a look. So, low's 13, the high's 30, you're trading at 26. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, you know, U.S. Steel keeps losing money. At least this one's making money. <laughs> you get, they're looking for $811 million. They're looking to put 33 cents to the bottom line. Okay. So let me put this on a monthly for a second. Yeah, I guess maybe March 2020, it has a high volume low on tested, but it kind of got tested, but not yeah. below it. So we have, oh yeah, let me do this. I got it on a weekly. Let me put this on a monthly. Yeah, you need a monthly. Oh, look at here. I see. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I like the setup, Frank. Okay, so. Yeah. So you're trying to get through. So when you're looking at this chart, folks, you can see the, the way to you just go to the biggest volume days. That's the bottom line. You can see you're coming into this downdraft that was created out from 31 to 20 in one month in July of 2015. So that's gonna that still takes a little hit. Watch this. We'll put this back. That supply line is big, man. That's the bottom line. Um, that being said, though, man, if it gets through the supply line, you can really get some juice in this thing. Yeah, I I would you know you could yeah for a bad market meaning you know so yeah. picture the market that we're in, folks. Okay, this is a good looking shot for the market we're in. I mean. You know, it's been basing now for seven years. Yeah. You know, the way right. to trade the way to trade this, Frank, is that I just put a stop under that twenty four twenty two from last the, the low of last month. Because if it if it gets down there again, then you open it up fourteen is not worth it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, um absolutely. Let me see. Yeah, S D T L. Let me just S T S S I think is that right? S T what is Steel dynamics, just. Yeah, it's a specialty steel. Right, I'm looking for. Man, I can't find it. Oh, thank you, Duffy. Appreciate it. 
STLD Yeah, see this got a sound of strange out there too. Yeah, I, Frank, I, that's not bad because you get steel dynamics. That wants to go test a hundred. Yeah, you know? I see it. And that that's set up pretty good, man. So you got let's see, eighty-seven could be your A, seventy-three is your B, or fourteen bucks. If the C was today, you get ninety-five. And what's that number up there? A hundred. Well, that, that blew away the B point. That's uh, yeah, pretty good. Yeah. So I think you get some action there, man, especially yeah. in this market. If you can find anything in this market that yeah, hasn't got destroyed, <laughs> you know, it's a strong stock. Yeah, yeah. Cooking, brother. All right, thank you. Have a great one, man. Bye. Have a safe one. Let's go to Jose in uh, Lakeland. Jose, what's going on, brother? Good afternoon, Tom. Tom, I trade on my Android phone with Ally Investment. Their platform is so miserable on their on Android phones. It, it, if I get on the street for a hamburger, by the time I get back to my house on my home computer, it could be a three thousand dollar hamburger. <laughs> well, That's how bad they are. We we got to get you into the year twenty twenty two now. Yes, I love my RCA flip phone from 1982. I hate to give it up. Hey, Tom, there's a place there called California City, Antelope Valley, out west. There are big builders walking away from these housing tracks. They've actually paved and even put street signs up, and they said they're walking away. And the word is it's going to spread all around the country. Well, the, the first, this is what, what Jose's talking about, folks, is this. That would be the first move, and that is actually a smart move for a developer. That's the bottom line, okay? So what happens, folks, is this. As a developer, your risk is not buying the land. Your risk is putting the shovel in the land. That's, mm -hmm. that's kind of how it goes. Because as soon as that shovel goes in the land, then you have an aspect of, okay, you gotta follow through, and when you start a project, you wanna go as quick as you can. What's gonna be intriguing right in St. Pete um, Jose and folks is this my understanding is that there's two projects that are pretty big that have started and they're basically putting dirt on them and they're gonna stop now it's not in the public yet but we'll see if this shakes out and if it does it's gonna be like a shock it's gonna be a shock very quickly because folks that really aren't on the street and understanding that you know what can happen so quick it, it'll be, they're, they're going to scratch their head and say, what the heck happened here? But I think that's yeah. happening. I've been watching these two projects and the way that they're moving, and they're big projects. So, so normally the way you move is this. When you're, you're putting peers in, you are not going to cover over anything. You don't have to cover over everything. You, you know, you're going down, down, down. And uh, that's not happening on these two projects. So we'll see where, but there's going to be more of that, you know? Yeah, and, yeah. I, I agree. Um, I, I can't. Put, you have high-end homeowners selling their homes today, and they're actually angry at their realtors, their brokers, for getting market value. They're wondering why didn't I get fifty grand over? They're actually angry at their own realist, realtors for not getting over. Well, you know, when you when you come to bubbles, it's a whole trip, and there's you know, you know, we'll see where this shakes out, but um, there's there's certainly the thing that's incredible, folks, is that if you saw the, the numbers that came out yesterday, you know, Tampa St. Pete Clearwater is the number one in the country. And you know what I've been saying, you know. And I, I said the best for yesterday. I said, it's so funny because you have these lags. And I mean, now we know how many prices are going down. It's already cracked. I, I bought two places last week that was a crack for sure. And what it was, this is what it was. So check it out. What it was is that there's so many people that have hard money out there, right? They can only afford it so long, and then they get worried. And when I talk about a crack, I'm talking about a decent crack, meaning there's a neighborhood I'm build, building out, and it was extensive, the discount that I got. And the guy just had to get out, man. So we'll wow. see more of that, man. Unbelievable. Keep up the good work. Cooking, brother. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials down 68, NASDAQ off 30, S&P's down 15. We'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 125. You get the Nasdaq off 57, S&P's off 23. And you're going to see, you get another sideways move out here, man. We take a look at the S&P first. Uh, bottom line is that you're going to finish out the day down 230. You get 73 million shares traded. Um, can't hold price. You know, we go take, take a look at the queue. When you can't hold price on winter dressing, folks, it's a problem. Take a look at the queues. Queues, same type of setup. Yeah, you're down 161. Trading at 306, bottom line, you know, volume out here is 59 million. Friday we did 66, yesterday it did 60. Um, you know, looks to me like problems in paradise, that's the bottom line. We gotta take a look at the indice volume now inside the NYSE. We're dealing with uh, so it's 670 million right now. That'll be about 850, 900. We take a look at the composite, and the composite's at 4.1. That'll probably do 4.7 or something like that. If we do bring the composite up and take a look at it, what you'll see out here is, come on, baby. Oh, yeah, look at this. Yeah, you get over the highs, you're going to close lower. The, the, the market should be able to bounce a little bit more, but I can tell you the way the composite's set up. Let me see if the Dow's set up that way. Well, actually, let me look at the S&P. Because the, the, the NASDAQ looks like it's not going to go anywhere but down right now. We take a look at the S&P, that's a close call, that's a close call. And the Dow Industrials, 
when I say a close call, that the bounce should still come up for a couple more days. And the Dow, yeah, the, no, the Dow, though, the Dow's saying, man, this is, <laughs> this is a, like you almost got a bearish engulfing and you've only been up like five days in a row. And they went sideways for three days. That, you know, that, that sets up lower prices, man. That's the bottom line here. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Don't forget about my workshop, folks. It's a week from Friday. Check it out on the front page of TFNN. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Look at him, folks. Building wealth.